Number 60. What are the directions of the currents in the loop and coil shown in figure 22.61? Right, so please review number 59 also. I talked about that concept, uh, just the reverse, meaning talking about currents that produce magnetic fields. Now we're talking about magnetic fields and trying to predict then the current. So here you have a loop all right, of wire, and it tells you that the magnetic field inside of that loop is pointing in. Now the only way for that to happen using right-hand rule number two is if the current moves in a counter, oh, excuse me, in a clockwise fashion. Pretend the current here is moving downward. If the current's moving down, you're pointing your thumb down. If you're pointing your thumb down, then you're gonna be, your fingers are rotating around the loop like this, right? And then as your fingers rotate around the loop, on the inside then of the loop, it, they would be pointing into the page. Now, on the exact opposite side, if you predicted the current then moving upward, your thumb should now be pointing up according to right hand rule number two. And now your fingers are wrapping around it this way, right? Where then as you go into the loop, your fingers are still pointing into the page. So if you notice, if this is pointing up over on, on this side and this is pointing down, well, the only way that that's gonna happen, those are tangential currents basically, is if this is going around in a clockwise fashion, okay? So it's clockwise. Uh, now with this, right, so we got to think of the same thing. Just look at one loop per se, okay? So um, this this part is pointing, it's so, this is, right? This isn't hard enough. It's a, the two-dimensional picture on a, and trying to explain a three-dimensional concept. So um, this is um, point. This is the closest part of the loop towards you, and this is the part of the loop in the back. So just pretend this kind of makes almost a circle, all right, or a loop. Um, so the only way for the magnetic field to be traveling through the loop here, using right-hand rule number two, is if the current here is pointing downward, right? If the current here is pointing downward, your thumb should be pointing down, and then as you rotate your fingers, around, it should rotate around and into the loop, okay? Around and into the loop. So I know then if the current's pointing down there, it must be pointing up in the back and that's pointing down, it's pointing up and there you go. Okay, that's the direction now. How do you wanna state it? Well, viewed from the right-hand side, if you were over here and you were viewing it, looking to the right, the current would be then moving in a clockwise fashion. All right, if you were then over here on the right-hand side and viewing it from the left, it should be counter to your perspective. All right, so it just depends. And now letter C is the exact same reasoning as letter B. It's just going to be the opposite. So, you know, the current here is now going up, down, and then down here, up, down, and then these would just be reversed. So, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Please remember to help us out and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Take care.